In this video, we are going to see an example of ER model. Now, let's say if you have to draw an ER diagram for a hospital with a set of patients and medical doctors. For hospitals with a set of patients and medical doctors, what all we are going to use as entities and attributes, we have to first think that. Now, going further with the ER diagram, you should first know a term called relationship. What is a relationship? A relationship is basically nothing but an association among two entity sets. We are talking about a term called relationship. That is an association among two entities. This is entity 1, this is entity 2. And the relationship can be represented by a diamond box. So this is a relationship among these two entities. Okay, now coming back to the example, we have to make an ER diagram for hospital with a set of patients and medical doctors. So firstly, we need to decide what all entities we can take. Now, For instance, I am taking first entity to be a patient. It has to be represented in a rectangular box. Okay, next entity I am taking is hospital and the third one I am taking is doctor. So I'm taking three entities. Now we need to think about the attributes of these entities. Starting with the patient. Patient can have a patient name. Now because as we've already seen in the previous video, this name is a composite attribute which can further be divided into the first, middle, and the last name and this is how it is represented the sub parts are to be attached with the main attribute okay this patient can also have address and a patient number now if I look at all these attributes patient number can act as primary key and as you all know, primary key is the key that uniquely identifies that particular entity. So every patient is going to have a unique patient number. So we have to represent it by underlining it. So this represents the attribute patient number, which is also a primary key for this entity. Now this entity is in a relationship with hospital. So these two are to be attached using diamond boxes okay now coming to the hospital hospital can have a name can have a registration number which can also act as a primary key for the hospital okay so it is also in relationship with doctor so again has to be attached with the diamond box now doctor can also have a name further having first middle and the last name acting as a composite attribute okay it this doctor can also have a phone number now as we have already seen phone number is a multi-valued attribute so can be represented by double lined oval can also have age date of birth Again, date of birth is an attribute and age is an attribute which is derived from date of birth. Therefore, acting as a de uh, derived attribute has to be represented using dotted lines. So, this is a very basic example of an ER diagram where we are representing the entities in rectangular boxes, attributes in oval boxes, relationships in diamond boxes and all these are linked using these lines. Primary key has to be underlined multi-valued attribute is to be represented by double lined oval and the composite attributes that are sub parts has to are to be attached to the main attribute of that particular entity 
Now, lastly, as these diamond boxes that represent the relationship between two entities are to be turned, therefore, in this case, as the patient is treated in an uh, treated in hospital the first diamond box is filled with treated in and as hospital has many doctors the second diamond box is filled with the word has thank you